The most expensive home on the planet. The most expensive home on the planet located in one of the most densely populated cities in the world, Mumbai, India. It is just within walking distance of the poverty stricken slums on the renowned Altamont Road. But it is probably more like a skyscraper than a home. They call it Antilia, the most expensive home ever created. This home ascends 27 stories stretching 568 feet high. As a result of the structure's massive construction and prime views of the Arabian Sea, it is the second most expensive residential property in the world. Considering Buckingham Palace is worth around 5 million US dollars. While Buckingham Palace is crown property, Antilia is a private residence and the most expensive private residence. Even though some estimates set the price at $2 billion, any list which includes Buckingham Palace before a residence, it is almost guaranteed that the residence will be opulent and it is likely one I'll love to move into in this video. Throughout this virtual tour, I will engage both of your senses, as well as provide you with important information about this ostentatious estate. The 27-floor skyscraper has many double and triple height ceilings, so it appears more like a 50 to a 60-floor building. There is a multi-level car lot that can hold 168 vehicles, including Lou Cash's, Precious 5 Rupees, Kroar Maybach, a car for very important people. That car collection is worth millions already. Somewhere in that car lot is also a car service station so you never need to go to the dealership for maintenance. If you worry about traffic don't worry there are three helipads on the building. Few things say billionaires like more than one helipad on the roof. Mumbai's residential bylaws prohibit both the private car lot and the helipad. But from our understanding, no one has forced the billionaires to make any changes above the car lot. A magnificent lobby with nine elevators awaits you. Further up is a two-story recreation center with a lap pool, a gym, a juice bar, a dance studio, and a yoga studio. It was with floors like these that Jeff Bezos transformed his I Sell Books body into high. I sell what I want physique as you continue to ascend. Eventually, you will find a spa and ballroom. A crystal chandelier covers 80% of the ballroom ceiling, leaving some shamefully unadorned 20% to capitalize on the entertainment areas of the home. There is a 50-seat movie theater. A sleek fork hangs over lush gardens, with multiple balconies and terraces. Additionally, the vegetation on the sides of the building absorbs the sun's heat in order to keep the interior as cool as possible. Perhaps the touch will make a dent in what must be a monstrous electricity bill, as if all this luxury wasn't enough to help you escape Mumbai's scorching heat. There's a snow generator in the ice room that mimics a winter wonderland, something only Willy Wonka could dream up. The immaculate structure was designed by architects Perkins and Will out of Chicago and the interior design was overseen by an Australian company called Lighten Holdings, while the 400,000 square foot building is home to just six. It's also meant to accommodate a staff of 600 cooks, cleaners, and security personnel, so it's not so large. The power bill for Antilia is around 100,000 US dollars per month. Now that is a huge power bill plus the staff and other bills. It probably costs about 1 million a month just to maintain the building. There is a legendary island known as the Isle of the Seven Cities that inspired the name of the building. It is said that seven settlements were established on this island by fleeing bishops fleeing the Muslim conquest of Spain. This tale originates from an old Liberian legend. Not much else is known about that fun fact, nor does anyone seem to know why the residents of the home went to that fabled island. But that's the thing with being a billionaire. No one questions your decisions, considering the unique shape of the skyscraper and the fact that its construction costs not 6, not 7, not 8, but then figures it'd be a fair assumption. It is correct to assume that the design of the home is symbolic, or at least it was purposeful. The 27-story structure was meticulously crafted with a Hindi influence and generously laced with religious symbols. There are six sections of the home that are meant to reflect earth, water, fire, air sound, and light. This was done to mimic the ascent to enlightenment, not Nickelodeon's avatar, the last airbender. Sun and lotus motifs recur throughout the mansion. Rebirth is symbolized by these symbols. Marble crystal and mother of pearl are among the materials used for these themes. There is a temple in the home in which the family of six goes to pray regularly. There are many statues of Hindu deities throughout the home, including the Hindu god. Ganesh revered as the remover of obstacles and Shiva the Hindu deity who destroys to make way for new creation, along with religious themes and the motives of lotus and sun. The house is said to have been inspired by the Atlantic Ocean. The owner of the $2 billion home is Mukesh Ambani, a petroleum titan chairman of Reliance Industries and surprise surprise, one-fifth of India's exports are accounted for by Mukesh, the richest man in the country. Considering India makes up for one-third of the Earth's population. 
Mukesh's father created a business that turned into the world's biggest producer of polyester fibers and yarns. He multiplied that inheritance many times over to become one of the richest men in all of Asia. For years, Mahesh was ranked among the top 10 richest individuals in the world, and he was deemed the richest man on the planet when India's stock market surged in 2007, but he is now ranked 20th. Mukesh is worth 90.3 billion U.S. dollars and is 64 years old. Did someone ask for a list of the richest people on the planet? Okay. Here it is number 1 Elon, Musk Tesla. Number 2 Jeff Bezos Amazon. Number 3 Bernard Arnault LVMH. 4 Bill Gates Microsoft. Number 5 Larry Page Alphabet. Number 6 Mark Zuckerberg Facebook. Number 7 Sergey Brin Alphabet. Number 8 Warren Buffett Berkshire Hathaway. Number 9 Steve Ballmer Microsoft. Number 10 Larry Ellison Oracle. Mukesh is the richest in Asia. As the commercial capital of India, Mumbai is also known as the city that never sleeps but I guess they didn't know that slogan had already been used. The city is also known as Bollywood since it is the center of the Indian entertainment industry. Yet another thing they ripped from the United States, while the city is home to the world's most expensive house. Unfortunately, it is also home to the world's largest slum. Mumbai was featured in the film Slumdog Millionaire. The public reception of the house's creation has been harsh at best. If you're building a house worth over a billion dollars, offending neighbors is almost inevitable but this particular case warrants any offense taken. Although this house was built on the richest stripe of land in Mumbai, it's impossible not to notice the stark contrast in a city like Mumbai, with such poverty a few blocks away. Still there are some that bring up the charitable acts of the Ambani family, which include the creation of a hospital when discussing the moral responsibilities of the family, not to mention the numbers of the philanthropic ventures, specifically by Nita Ambani. Which is great and all. But it is hard to ignore the gargantuan mansion towering over the city or any of Mukesh's indulgences other than the mansion. Years before the creation of Antilia, Mukesh bought his wife, an Airbus for her birthday for $60 million. He had the passenger jumbo jet refitted with a living room, a bedroom satellite TV, a sky bar and a spa. How is that for a birthday present? Unlike most families worth billions, the Ambani family owns just one home as opposed to the expected several around the globe. Initially. The family shared a house with Mukesh's mother and brothers, but after Mukesh's father passed away of a stroke, he decided to break the bank on the 400,000 square foot home. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.